Oh, we've had visitors here. As his name suggests, Jack Finch knows his birds. But this elderly retired farmer's passion is reserved for a bird that was once on the edge of extinction. Last time I saw it, I had four eggs. Oh, they're hatching today. These are young eastern bluebirds. They're the payoff for more than 30 years of planting trees, cutting boards, and driving nails. This is a box made out of bologna. And this box has been out here in the weather. Well, this will make six years. Finch has built and posted nesting boxes all over his farm. And there are thousands more of his boxes all over North America. And they all have different strokes. And this is mine. But it is for the birds. Try to save the birds. But just think about it. We lost the Carolina parakeet because we didn't care that nobody did anything about it. For most of the 20th century, the nation's bluebird population dwindled. A shrinking habitat, pesticides, and competition from other more aggressive birds are likely culprits behind the decline in numbers. In my life growing up, I never saw a bluebird until he pointed out the first one in the early 70s. That lone bluebird triggered childhood memories for Jack Finch, back to a time when the birds were a part of his everyday life. What really makes my day to get up early in the morning, just as the sun comes up, to be a bluebird up on top of that radio antenna singing. The bluebird was on an endangered list at one time. It was uh, an extinct list one time. And now that's, it's off that, it's, it's back, and mainly because of making nesting boxes. The number of bluebirds has grown steadily because of grassroots efforts, like those of Jack Finch. Let's go up here and see if this lady's on, on the nest this morning. She had four eggs yesterday. He's still putting in probably 16 hour, active hours a day, and, he's, and all of that is in some way is uh, focused on the preservation of the bluebirds. 